Hello everyone, my name is Fabio Santos from Pre Run or Farmado Gringo from Capoeira Nago. Today we're going to be looking into one of the capoeira phrases from the Queda de Rins. So there is a lot of different names, uh, depends on each group, it varies quite a lot. So I'm going to just say uh, one of the big phrases from capoeira. Let's get into it. Right everyone, now that you have seen the videos, pay attention on the clip, the slow motion, so you can understand before you try it out. Uh, first of all, just quickly going through the position of the arms. So here, I, always need, I need to make sure I'm going to be on top of my elbow when I'm going to do that move. And it's important as well that my wrist will be in line with my elbow when i support my weight onto. If it's a little bit out, you might feel a little bit bent on your wrist and stuff like that. So try uh, pay attention to those details. I'm going to show quickly from the Jinga and from one of the skills as well. Both so you can adapt to your own style or to your own technique. So from here, if you don't know how to do a milk compass, one of the capoeira kicks, uh, I'm going to just quickly show the steps. But I normally use those steps from that kick to get into that move. So basically, I'm going to start from my left leg here, use my right leg there, and then I'm going to get into the position of the middle compass. I'm going to quickly show a little variation or a little exercise for you to practice how to get into it before you try to do the whole move out so to understand. So if you're here, it's very important that I keep the the distance between my legs, keep that gap there. So I'm gonna place my hand on the floor and gonna try and reach for my elbow from both sides and keep the gap between the legs. So what I'm gonna do is twist here, just so I understand that I'm gonna twist from my toes there and make sure the gap between my legs uh, there the whole time. The next step is, once I understand how I'm going to spin my legs, I'm going to reach for my elbow, on top of my elbow. So I'm going to reach and then go down on top of my elbow and come back. So it's very important that the gap between the legs is there. A lot of people tend to, once they spin, let the leg cross. So that will pull you off. So you're probably going to miss out your elbow there. So try to laugh on both sides so you can understand and try to figure out which way is easier for you. So here I'm going to be using my right arm. So what I'm going to try to do, get down to my arm and come back. So the technique we use, you can use on both sides, change. Okay. So now, once I can do that, the next step is breaking the bottom leg, the leg that's close to the floor, in towards me, on my toes. So here, what I'm going to do, get the leg there, down to my elbow, and the leg that's on the floor, I'm going to bring it as close as I can to me, so from there, break it in, and as I push myself, I'm going to drop my leg. Again, if you can coordinate the push from the arms, as you drop the leg, will help a lot in terms of the momentum. Obviously at the beginning, you might struggle until you get the time, but this is the idea. So now doing from the front so you can see what I'm doing. So from there, over the hands there, get onto my elbow, bring the leg in, and as I push my leg down, I'm going to push my elbow and try 
to finish in the negative position. Again, this position here varies from group to group. Some groups stay there, some groups turn to the side. One of the way of standing up, just roll over the leg, known as well as hole in the capoeira. How to start that move, you can either go from the jig as I did there, going from the skip. Or if you try to do from a kick, you can use one of the kicks. And finish. Again, make sure you really work before you do that. And make sure you know the position of the arms, where your arm goes, where you support in your weight, before you're trying to do it. Okay everyone, that was one of the Capoeira Queda de Rins variation, hope that really helped and don't forget to check out the other videos, the other tutorials and very soon as well my DVD is going to be out with some of those combos and secrets and much more. Peace out.